we've been learning that the Bible is one big story made up of lots of smaller parts. Let's check out what some of those smaller parts are. We started with creation. Adam is created by God, but he sins and destroys God's original plan for man. The next part of the Bible we talked about was the patriarchs. We learned that Abraham is chosen by God to father a people to represent God to the world. Then we talked about Exodus. Through Moses, God delivers the Hebrew people from slavery in Egypt and then gives them the law. Then we learned about the conquest, that Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. Next, we talked about judges. Samson and others were chosen as judges to govern the people for 400 rebellious years. And then we talked about the kingdom. David, the greatest king in the new monarchy, is followed by a succession of mostly unrighteous kings, and God eventually judges Israel for her sin, sending her into exile. Next, we talked about exile. Daniel gives leadership and encourages faithfulness among the exiles for the next 70 years. All of these stories have pointed us to the coming rescuer. Thankfully, we learn that God already had a plan to rescue his people through Jesus at the beginning of the story. God's promised redeemer, Jesus, was part of that family tree in the patriarchs. During Exodus, people did not follow the law perfectly, but Jesus, our rescuer, did. In the conquest, Jesus gave the final victory for God's people when he conquered sin and death. And in Judges, we learn that Jesus is the perfect judge. We learn that Jesus is the king of kings in the kingdom time period. During exile, we learn that Jesus is our hope 